10 musicians currently behind bars and the reasons why. Vibes Cartel Adida Azim Palmer, otherwise known as Vibes Cartel, is one of the biggest exports from Jamaica in recent memory and he earns a good living as a singer, composer, entrepreneur, and record producer. Most love him for his flamboyance as well as his music. Vibes Cartel kicked off his entertainment career as a teen and has worked with acts like Rihanna, Jay-Z, and Major Lazer. He's been widely praised, most notably by Drake himself, who cited Cartel as one of his biggest inspirations. Cartel is widely successful, but he is also a convict who is currently serving a life sentence for taking the life of an associate. His murder conviction happened in 2014 and he's expected to serve a minimum of 35 years, reduced to 32 years 6 months on appeal, before being eligible for parole. But prison is not stopping the guy and he's been releasing a slew of hits while locked up. Fever, for example, got a gold certification in mid-2020. R. Kelly Robert Sylvester Kelly is often called the king of R&B. Some of his biggest hits include I Believe I Can Fly, Bump and Grind, and Gotham City, with the first netting him three Grammy Awards. His global album sales have exceeded 75 million and for that and other reasons, he is regarded as one of the best-selling music artists ever. R. Kelly ruled much of the 90s and it was around that time that allegations first surfaced that he had engaged in some very improper behavior with minors, just like the first entry at the end of this video. He mostly shrugged off these and other charges. On February 22, 2019, R. Kelly was charged with a slew of crimes and on July 11, 2019, he was arrested on some pretty significant charges. As of January 29, 2021, the guy is facing 29 federal charges, including forced labor, kidnapping, human trafficking, racketeering, and obstruction of justice. He has not had his day in court yet and is currently a guest of the Metropolitan Correctional Center in Chicago and he faces up to 20 years in prison. C. Murder C. Murder's real name is Corey Miller and he is both a rapper and a songwriter, as well as a Gulf War vet. He shot to the limelight during the middle part of the 90s as a true member, and it didn't hurt that Master P was his brother. At No Limit Records, the guy put out several solo albums with Life or Death in 1998, going platinum. Apart from the No Limit, C. Murder released albums on labels like Koch Records, True Records, RBC Records, Venti Uno, and Asylum Records. The year 2002 saw the rapper getting charged with murder and on August 14, 2009, he was handed a life imprisonment sentence. C. Murder is currently held at the Louisiana State Penitentiary and while there, he's been busy releasing singles and albums. Since his sentencing, two key witnesses have chosen to recant their statements. C. Murder has never accepted responsibility for what he was accused of and sentenced for and instead consistently maintains his innocence while demanding a new trial with big names such as Kim Kardashian and Monica calling for his release. Wowza, I'm gobsmacked. Tay K47. Tamor Trayvon McIntyre's biggest hit is The Race, a song about gang life and his legal issues. It was released while he was being hunted by law enforcement personnel after fleeing from house arrest on murder charges. That song rose to number 44 on the US Billboard Hot 100 and has been remixed by artists like Fetty Wap and Tyga and got a platinum certification in January of 2018, with the official video currently boasting almost 220 million YouTube views. Tay K got nabbed in New Jersey on June 30th, 2017, and at that time he'd been on the run for about three months. His hit song and circumstances of his arrest aroused great interest on social media and his management team took advantage of that by releasing his debut mixtape on July 29th, 2017. In July 2019, the youngin got a murder and aggravated robbery conviction and was given 55 years for the murder and 30 years on a single aggravated robbery charge, plus two 13-year sentences on two other aggravated robbery charges. These all run concurrently with parole eligibility happening in 27 and a half years. Take was additionally fined a total of $21,000 and is currently awaiting trial on another charge for crimes committed while on the lam. Big Lurch Anton Singleton is the birth name of rapper Big Lurch, and he used to be a member of the Cosmic Slop Shop Hip Hop group. The guy is currently in prison and is a convict serving a life sentence for taking the life of a roommate of his. The act happened on April 10th, 2002. Later, Big Lurch was found in the streets, drenched in blood, and was arrested. Testimony from the victim's boyfriend revealed that the rapper had consumed PCP within 24 hours of the act, but that was not enough of an extenuating circumstance to prevent his being sentenced to life in prison without parole. Big Lurch is currently taking up living space at the California State Prison in Sacramento, California. BG 
VG stands for Baby Gangsta and is the stage name of Christopher Noel Dorsey, a New Orleans rapper who kicked his life into high gear by signing to Cash Money Records in 96. The next year, he, Lil Wayne, and others put together the Hot Boys Music Group and in 2001, he quit Cash Money and started the Chopper City Records label. BG has released or contributed to many memorable songs and albums, chief of which is the certified platinum Chopper City in the Ghetto, and particularly its Bling Bling track. Now, early in November of 2009, somewhere in New Orleans, BG was pulled over for a routine traffic stop. His car was searched and guns were found, with two of these having been stolen. He was arrested and booked on an illegal carrying of weapons charge, pled not guilty in February of 2010, and on July 12th of 2012, was found guilty of gun possession and witness tampering and given a 14-year sentence. Young QC 99 years that's how much time Young QC was given behind bars. The sentence was passed in early 2020 and does seem overly harsh, but wait till you hear what this aspiring rapper is in for. Comain Wilson, aka QC, is a convict who paid a hitman to kill Yolanda Holmes, his mom. Holmes had been a loving mother, spoiling her son with affection and giving him pretty much whatever he wanted, and that wasn't enough for Young QC. Now, and he, therefore, paid Eugene Spencer to execute her in September of 2012. Rather than the $3,500 the hitman was expecting, young QC eventually handed over less than 100 bucks. Cheap man there. The high living son went through her bank accounts, spending wildly and having a good time until the law caught up with him in 2013. In early 2020, the hitman was given a 100 year sentence, with young QC getting 99 years after a two hour jury deliberation. Couldn't have happened to nicer fellows. Suge Knight. Gangsta rap owes an undeniable debt of gratitude to Marion Hugh Suge Knight Jr. And without him at the helm of Death Row Records, the genre might not have achieved its dizzying heights. As Death Row CEO, Suge Knight shared the release of possibly two of the most iconic albums in gangsta rap history, The Chronic by Dr. Dre in 92 and Doggy Style by Snoop Dogg in 93. The label prospered with acts like Tupac, Dre, and Snoop Dogg in its stable, but with Tupac's bump off, the situation deteriorated beyond redemption and Suge Knight fought to exercise control by all means, which all too often meant threats or the use of violence. Frequently described as extremely violent and brutish and as constantly relying on fear and intimidation to advance his interests, Suge Knight spent most of the late 90s and early years of this century in jail for one infraction or another and eventually lost control and ownership of Death Row Records. On January 29th of 2015, Suge Knight was involved in a hit and run on the straight out of Compton film set that resulted in the demise of one person and the injury of another. In September of 2018, he pled no contest on these charges and got 28 years in jail, with July 2037 being his earliest parole date. Kid Creole Kid here is old school hip hop which means he was shaking it when most of us were still babbling in kindergarten. He, along with his brother, Melly Mel, were members of the Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five, a hip-hop group that came into being in 1978 and released hits like Freedom and The Message. The group, while very influential, didn't have much lasting power and soon broke up and disbanded. Kid Creole fell on hard times and into obscurity, working odd jobs to make a living. He was arrested early in August of 2017 and charged with the bump off of a homeless man who'd either insulted him or made advances to him. He's currently at the Vernon C. Bain Correctional Center, a jail barge within spitting distance of Rikers Island, if you can believe it, and has been there since his August 2017 arrest. Kid Creole is facing a second degree murder charge and will be put on trial as as soon as the state can get on with it. Austin Jones Austin Jones was a YouTuber and talented musician who frequently toured the globe and whose career lasted from 2007 to 2017. Perhaps his best work was an EP titled We'll Fall Together in 2014, which reached number 12 on the iTunes chart, though his Pitch Imperfect album of 2016 does bear listening to. He was also known for covers and works by alternative bands and was popular with teenagers with his YouTube channel at one time having 540,000 subscribers. From May 2015, reports surfaced that Jones had been engaged in improper behavior with underage fans. On June 12, 2017, his Illinois home was searched by Homeland Security personnel as part of an investigation and he was arrested on that very day too on these charges. He later pled guilty and was given a 10-year sentence, a sentence which started on June 28, 2019. Click on the playlist to the left to binge watch more celebrities and sports stars currently rotting in jail and the reasons why. We'll see you there.